What's up everyone, this is Ed Talenti, how are you guys doing? Today we're gonna talk about the holy grail for all producers, especially at the beginning, and that's free plugins. While I was preparing for this video, I came up with a list of like a bunch of plugins, but I decided to just squeeze it down to like five, plus I put a bonus one at the end. You guys will see why I called it a bonus one. I figured instead of just sitting here and talking to you guys about the plugins, we could just make a beat with them. We're gonna use all five of them, and then the sixth one, the bonus one at the end, and I'm gonna show you guys how I incorporate them in my workflow and how you guys can do the same for free. Woo! All right, let's get right into it. So the first plugin that I wanted to talk to you guys about today is Terrell N6 by Yuhi. There's a fly. This plugin is completely free to download and it comes with a ton of presets as well. Even though some of the presets sound a little bit dated or just kind of like dry, uh, by applying some effects and just kind of messing around with it, you can actually get some really, really good sounds. So let's start with this one and put down some chords. I'm gonna keep it dry, no effects, nothing at all, just the plugin. <laughs> Alright, I feel like the part, like the chords are pretty fire. Now we just need to like spice it up a little bit because the sound is pretty dry. So let me go ahead and show you the second plugin for today. This one is from Isotope, one of my favorite companies for plugins out there. They make a lot of like paid stuff for mastering, for mixing. They make a ton of stuff. But this one in particular is free. And what it does, it's like a vinyl emulator. So it adds like rain sounds or just like dust or wobble. It basically just emulates like a vinyl and it kind of gives you that retro like vintage dusty vibe. Alright, that already added like a ton more personality to the sound and it sounds a lot better. So I just added some simple reverb and delay, I added an EQ, and I added Shaper Box, which is the only plugin I use so far that is not free and included in your DAW. The melody is honestly pretty fire right now, but I still want to add a little bit of extra color, so let me show you the third free plugin. All right, plugin number three, it's a special one because it's not just a plugin, but it's a bundle of free plugins. This is called the Melda Production Free Bundle Plugins, something like that, but it's awesome. It's got so much stuff in it, it's completely free, and it has a lot of effects that you usually find in your DAW, but these are kind of like a little bit better. It's kind of like waves, but obviously with less stuff and completely free. So I'm obviously not gonna use all of them for this beat, but I wanted to add a little bit of color to this melody. I'm probably gonna use a flanger and maybe the vibrato one. I really like the vibrato, I use it on a lot of stuff. All right, I'm really happy with this melody right now, so I'm gonna convert it to audio and we can start doing some drums. All right, for the drums, I'm not gonna use a free plugin, but I am going to use my own sample pack, which you can get at the link in the description for a discount, which I'm gonna put right here. Just type in the discount, get the pack, and you're gonna have the same drums I'm using right now. N808. Now that we put down a basic drum pattern, let me show you plugin number four. 
This plugin is called Camel Crusher. It's completely free and it's a distortion slash compression plugin. It's really cool. It gives you some really good effects on drums, 808s, everything that you want to like beef up. You can kind of just throw it on whatever and then just adjust the mix knob and you usually get some pretty good results. I really like using it on my drums and I use it pretty often on my kick, sometimes on my snare, but mostly kick and hi-hats. It just makes them like crispier and nice and like saturated a little bit. It just makes it sound really cool. Right now I don't really need to put it anywhere else, but this plugin can be used on a lot of stuff and it really adds kind of like a cool color and it's free. All right, it's time to add a counter melody and in order to do that, we're gonna use plugin number five. Alright, so as you can probably see by now, the key to using free plugins is to get creative with the way you treat them. Because by themselves, sometimes they have sounds that are a little bit like thinner or just weaker. But if you treat them with some other plugins and you just kind of like color them a little bit, they can actually be super useful, they're free, and you can still make really, really good beats. Alright, this one is a highly requested one by the Flute Gang, and it's a free flute. Generally, when I'm looking for like a realistic flute, I use Omnisphere, but there's a lot of free flutes out there that have really unique colors. So they're not necessarily like the best sounding flutes, but they have some really unique characteristics characteristics to the sound that are just kind of unique and they're interesting. The one I'm going to show you guys today is the Iowa Alta Flute. Pretty simple, it doesn't really have a lot of parameters, just like sustain, release, attack, that kind of stuff. But it has a really unique and cool tone and I just really like it. Alright, let's come up with a counter melody. It's really fire and we make most of it with free plugins so yeah perfect oh by the way all the plugins that I've been talking about in the video are all linked in the description so you can just go download them they're all free so have fun all right I'm gonna go ahead and add an 808 to this and then we're pretty much done That's perfect, that's fire. Let me quickly show you the sixth and bonus plugin. Now this is one that you guys have seen me using in a bunch of my videos. This one is called Span by Voxengo and is my favorite meter like gain analyzer. I use this to do gain staging, which I use for mixing. So you just put it on a channel on anything you want and it shows you the level, the RMS, everything that you need to know about that particular sound in order to put it at the right level. Again, that one is also completely free. I already talked about it in depth in other videos, so I'm not gonna go over it again, but go download it. It's super important and it's going to change everything. All right, this beat is done. I'm going to go ahead and mix, master it, arrange it a little bit, and I'll play you guys the final thing in three, two, one. And that was the beat. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell. We're so close to 20K. I'm excited. The community is growing. It's awesome. Also, if you wanna ask me a question privately, you just wanna say hi, whatever it is, Instagram is the best place to do it. Just shoot me a DM and as soon as I can, I will respond to you. All right, I guess this is it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching the video all the way through. I'll see you next time. And as always, be positive and positive things 
will happen.